important to still have um, a celebratory day or month as it is now because uh, in terms of women's equality there is still a lot to do yes there's a lot of things that we have achieved and there are lots of different advancements but i think it's good time to reflect on the things that could be done in terms of working together to achieve more equality for women international women's day is an opportunity not only to celebrate how far women have come but also to really talk about the barriers that still exist. If nothing more, then becoming aware of these issues and then hopefully through that awareness, turning that into action. I think it exists because of the need to celebrate women, um, because I don't think it happens enough um, and all the contributions that women make to society. International Women's Day is a great opportunity to get to know each other's culture. It was fantastic to see the plethora of people interested in hearing the female voice, whether it was a theatrical performance, whether it was a speaker, whether it was a song. The event and the way that it was put together really helped to shape and nurture that sense of community. I think it was really good to see how brave just ordinary people can be in terms of not just bucking the trend but making their own opportunities possible. It's an opportunity to raise awareness, it's an opportunity to tell women about what their rights should be and how to claim them and for wider society just to be aware. There are definitely great movements to make things more equal but um, there's still a lot of work to be done. There's so many women that are not getting equal pay and they're in really rubbish situations. I love what's created, I love the women that I meet, but every day should be bloody Women's International Women's Day, do you know what I mean? Let me go, 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 go. Let me go, 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 go. I think a, a lot of the things that people said was really, really, really interesting. It was interesting to see everybody's different opinions on, and different takes on as the sort of same platform. It's great to find out some new organisation people that can help and support. I think it's inspired me to maybe uncover more ordinary tales of people challenging the status quo, challenging equality, not on a grand scale, but in their small everyday, you know, everyday life. We can hear each other's stories. We can hear from a range of women because women aren't all the same. Our, our experiences are different and the barriers and challenges that face us are different as well. Instilling like ideas of self-worth uh, in young girls because those young girls grow up to be women that don't feel like they could do everything and anything when they can. There is no normal. We are all different. We have to embrace our differences and learn how to stand up for ourselves. We're trying very hard to make sure that a range of women's voices are heard and it's a chance to hear those, to come together, to network, to celebrate and work in unity to make a change. So it's building that confidence within women to just create and just be creative and to celebrate their creativity. And the evening event in particular, there was a, a really inspiring mix of essays, presentations. You ask yourself, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented and fabulous? I ask you, who are you not to be? The parent of a girl wanting to take engineering may be told it's too boyish. And equally, a boy's parent may tell them textiles is too girly. It's just completely delete that stereotype and see gender as something on a spectrum as opposed to um, a fixed ideal. It should just be a fact with no need for debate or argument. It was really good to hear the voices of young women and young girls, uh, especially those who had overcome personal adversity be that because of image, be that because of racism, to present their own stories. This year we had people from all walks of life coming forward and taking part in International Women's Day and I think you just learn a little bit more from everything that you hear. Girls are gods with perfect patience who bleed profusely on a monthly basis and don't ask for sick days. Girls trailblaze, set fire to the male gates and burn the instructions to tell them how to fix things, nix things, the how to's, the don't do's, the how to be's based on something someone else wants to see. Do you know, if I'm going to be brutally honest, it's depressing that a day like this needs to happen. Don't get me wrong, it was a fabulous day. I absolutely loved it. I saw so many different things happening throughout the day. But, you know, do we really need a day? Do we still, in 2017, need a day to say, look, we are important, we are equals? So there's, I have that love-hate relationship with it because, you know, in a, in a perfect world, we wouldn't need it. I would like to see more women come forward 
share their achievements and inspire us. I think the only thing is to get bigger, to get like more people involved. Hopefully, uh, someone would have been sitting in the audience and uh, you know saw somebody on stage say something and realised that they could do that too. I'm not sure that I saw many women working on the back line or in, on the tech, and that's the next step, isn't it? I'd hope that we can just draw a tighter focus um, and really hone what it is that we are saying and how we're saying it and who we're saying it to. Ah, we've, we've got plans for next year, you just wait and see. We had an amazing event this year and uh, the reaction to it, male and female, was fantastic. I think it would be good to hear from um, maybe female politicians, um, also maybe teachers. We, we concentrated this year very much on younger women and putting forward their voices. So I'd like to see a more range of older women next year. So looking at the experiences and making older women more visible um, and then going forward maybe doing a more intergenerational approach. Story, I can never give you my heart. 